Okay, so, <laughs> are you ready? I'm not. Hey there, strangers. Today is my one year anniversary on YouTube. And it's pretty special to me because when I first started off on YouTube, I expected nobody to watch me. And I was perfectly fine with that. Like, I just was happy learning to edit videos, playing video games with my friends, and just learning how to com do commentary. Um, and it made me happy. You know, I was in pretty low point in my life at the moment, and YouTube just made me happy. So I continued. Um, so I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't let this be just another hobby that would pass and blow over. So I made a promise to myself that I would upload once a week. And I did, for an entire year. I started off for an entire month uploading every single day. Every single day a new video came out. And then I was like, okay, this is getting pretty exhausting. So I moved it to twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. And then I was like, okay, this is more doable. And then I got into animation. So then I started doing um, once a week. And that's kind of how I've been doing things for a while, for the past like six months, actually. I've been uploading Let's Plays and doing just tests of my animation studies once a week for an entire year. That's a lot for me. That really is a lot for me. Um, because I have a social life, I have school life, I have a job, so a lot goes into it. Um, and I'm really proud because I never missed a day. I never missed a single day of my once a week promise. And I'm really happy about that. And I'm really proud of that. Um, and over time, I gained an audience. Which was mind-boggling. Within the first, like, two months of YouTube, I had 100 subscribers. And that was crazy. I was like, what? Who the hell would watch me? <laughs> but apparently people found me entertaining. So I just kept going with it. I replied to every single comment. I talked to a lot of people. Um, and it was really, really fun. And it just kind of took off. I know to a lot of people that 3,000 isn't a lot, but like 3,125 subscribers I currently have. And to me, that's awesome. That's really awesome to me. Like, I've memorized that number. And it, like, grows, like, one a day. And, like, I got steady growth now. And that's really cool to me. Um, but I need to thank you, the, the audience, the people who watch my videos, for sticking around. Because I went through a lot of changes with my channel. And you guys just didn't care so long as I did stuff you guys just kept watching and you kept enjoying thank you for being flexible with me thank you for putting up with me and I'm really excited for more to come it's been a year and I look back from where I started to where I am now and I have a community now a community that I'm actually really proud of we have a discord server and in the Discord server, we have something called Dark Thoughts. It's a chat where if you're feeling down, got anxiety, have depression, being bullied in school, kids go to there, kids or adults, and they just message and explain their situation. And it's always within an hour, somebody replies, Somebody's talking to that person. Somebody's creating solutions. I've helped some. I've helped people through their bullying, bullying problems, and I help my friends through their depression. And 
they helped me through mine, damn right. Um, but it's... <laughs> I like it. I love my little community that I have on the Discord server. Everyone's very polite. It's, it's a nice place to be. Um, and it wasn't until, I think, three months ago where I got my first fan art. And then that, I created a channel for the Discord server called Fan Art. And then other people started to post their fan art. And I think that's incredible. <laughs> like, I look at every single one on, like, a daily basis. I have them all saved to my phone. And I love that people created something for me. And to me, that's really awesome. So thank you for that. Um, I've met so many people through YouTube. Like... I've met a lot of the animators on YouTube, the animaticers, the animation vloggers, whatever you want to call them. I've met a lot of nice people, and I'm really happy about it. I really am. Like, I don't know. It's just, you know, I always have somebody to talk to, I can message somebody. And they reply, like, really, really quickly, because we're always connected. We're always connected. We always have our phone. We're always on a computer. And those are friends that I like. I like those friends. And we can just explore virtual worlds together. We could play games together. And it's really awesome. And I've met a lot of friends who are way more talented that, than I am. And they help me out, they teach me, they give me advice, they give me constructive criticism, and I love that. I love constructive criticism that they give me, because they're not afraid to be straight up with me, and I love that. And it helps me, it helps me a lot. And I have the luxury of meeting some of them, and some of the people that watch my videos. I have a con that's coming up in... Four days, wow, holy crap. Four days, I'm going to a convention in Florida called Playlist Live. And I have a few people who are will, are like excited to meet me, who message me saying, where are we going to meet up and stuff. And I'm meeting one of my friends who I've moderated for, who's a part of the animation squad, who like was one of my inspirations to start um, creating animation vlogs which is coming out later, I'll get to that later. Um, it's Alex Clark. Um, so I'm really excited to hang out with him and I'm gonna vlog the experience, of course. So that's gonna be something to give to you guys. And yeah. I'm also going to VidCon. I'm going to VidCon US in Anaheim, California. And that's going to be awesome. I'm very, I'm going with my friend Grever and I'm really, really excited for that one. That's like a big trip for me. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm just excited. <laughs> I got a lot of plans coming up this summer. Also, uh, regarding the animation vlogs, I have an opportunity that I'm willing to pursue. Um, I've been in contact with people who work at Leica Studios, the stop motion animation studio that created Coraline, Kubo, and Box Trolls. Um, and I'm going to submit a reel to them. I'm going, this is going to be the, that, the downside to this video. I am taking a break. I am. I, I'm taking a break this for the summer. Um, I'll still upload here and there, of course, um, but I'm not gonna stick to my once a week promise anymore. Um, not for not for the time being. I'll go back to it, of course, and maybe change the schedule up a bit um, for the next year. Um, but I. I'm going to be practicing stop motion like I've never practiced something before. Um, I have an armature coming in that I have to study its movements, study rigging. I have a lot of work ahead of me. Um, 
I've gotten a lot better too with my movements. The things that currently are on my YouTube channel, those are in even comparison to what I've been doing lately. And I've been making molds like right next to me. I'm looking at them. I have five molds, five molds for heads alone that I've been studying like with ears, noses. Um, I have an armature. I'm gonna actually have hands now. It's gonna be fun and I'm going to submit a reel and hopefully I will get the internship for Leica Studios. I'm really excited about that. So that's my, that is my goal for the end of the summer. Um, so yeah, I'm taking a break to focus on excelling in stop motion animation and I'm really excited about that. Um, I want more to say, but I, ha I have more to say, of course, but it's just not coming. Like, I even made a bulletin list right there. Um, but the only word that comes to mind right now is thank you. Thank you for being flexible with me. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for just putting up with me in general <laughs> um and yeah thank you so i think that's it yeah that's it so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out